proposed ART network in Metro Cebu. MCDCB made a determined effort to promote ART for Metro Cebu. In January 2017, JICA held a three-day consultative meeting from stakeholders on the proposed Transportation Master Plan. MCDCB pushed very hard for the inclusion of ART as a possible option in the Master Plan. Shown in the photo is the signing of the agreement between JICA and Cebu on the final day of the meeting. Two years later, in 2019, the agreement would lead to the completion of the Transportation Master Plan for Metro Cebu. Numerous efforts to promote the installation of an ART system in Cebu have been done since 2018. ART has received favorable endorsements from the RDC-IDC, MCDCB Full Board, and RDC Full Board. ART presentations were made to MCIAA General Manager in 2018 and the airport operator GMR Megawide in 2019. Two ART presentations were made in 2019 to OPAV including a presentation made by a delegation from Doppelmayr, Austria. An ART presentation to prospective investors was made in February 2019. Among those who attended were SM, San Miguel, and Rafi. As mentioned in the previous chapter, JICA provided grants for two infrastructure studies in Metro Cebu. The first was an infrastructure master plan that included preliminary mass transportation studies. The second was a transportation master plan that included a more detailed transportation study. Both studies were published by JICA upon completion on its website for the use of everyone. Both studies provided enormous amounts of data that were used in the preliminary design of a mass transportation network for Metro Cebu. JICA gathered so much data in both studies that enabled it to recommend different modes of transportation for Metro Cebu. A Metro Cebu ART team organized by Doppelmayr was able to make use of the data. The data was used to determine seven viable ART alignments that may significantly reduce traffic congestion in Metro Cebu. The following are the proposed modes of transport as recommended by JICA based on the 2019 Transportation Master Plan for Metro Cebu. These are the two LRT lines recommended by the JICA study. As to BRT, feasibility and engineering studies were completed since 2012. World Bank funding for its construction and national government funding for its right-of-way have been approved a long time ago. In deference to the status of BRT, JICA merely mentions its role in the multimodal mass transportation system for Metro Cebu as shown in these two examples. In the section on the conclusions of the Transportation Master Plan, JICA continued to push for the completion of the Cebu BRT on schedule. As to ART, JICA proposed a feasibility study. The green lines are the proposed BRT lines for Metro Cebu. The green line enclosed in this red rectangle is BRT Phase 1. Construction started in January 2023. Even if all BRT and LRT lines shown will be completed, they would still not be enough to address the enormous traffic problem in Metro Cebu. The first two main positive results of the promotion of ART in Cebu was the inclusion of the ART in the JICA Transportation Master Plan in Cebu. JICA recommended an ART along the tourist belt in Mactan Island. These are the proposed seven ART lines for Metro Cebu as proposed by the Metro Cebu ART team for possible PPP implementation. PPP, or Public-Private Partnership, is a partnership between the public sector and the private sector for the purpose of delivering a project that would be funded entirely by the private sector. The funding from the government will only be usually allocated for the right-of-way acquisition. 
The ART alignments can change depending on the ability of the government to acquire the land needed for the stations. Only the government has the power of imminent domain or the power to acquire property for public use upon the payment of just compensation. This is the same combined mass transport system for Cebu on a satellite map with major roads shown. This is the same map but without the major roads in the background. It can be seen from this illustration that ART does not compete with BRT and LRT. Instead, it complements them for an integrated intermodal transport system. BRT and ART are for medium passenger demand corridors, while LRT is for high passenger demand corridors. BRT, LRT, and ART will feed each other with passengers. The transfer between ART and other modes of transport will be facilitated by interchanges as shown in circles. The role of jeepneys and buses as feeders to the mass transportation system and further explanation on PPP funding will be covered in later chapters. The second of two main positive results of the promotion of ART in Cebu was the inclusion of the ART in the DOTR proposed Integrated Intermodal Transport System for Metro Cebu. This is a news clip of DOTR announcing the Integrated Intermodal Transportation System or IITS for Metro Cebu. The components of the IITS would be the BRT, cable cars or ART, and monorail. Two months after the DOTR announcement of the IITS for Metro Cebu, DOTR came back to Cebu to make detailed presentations of the IITS. This DOTR PowerPoint presentation recommends two alternative ART lines in Metro Cebu. The first is the Salinas Tops Line. The Cebu monorail is a proposed PPP project of Udena Infrastructure Corporation. Since 2021, there has been no news about the progress of its implementation. It is likely that the PPP monorail project will no longer be pursued. The second line is the IT Park Marco Polo Line. Five months later, up to February 22, 2020, Secretary Arthur Tugade would continue to promote the IITS in Cebu. This photo shows Secretary Tugade promoting the cable car as a crucial component of the IITS. Three weeks later, after this presence presentation, the nationwide lockdowns throughout the Philippines due to COVID-19 would start. Implementing the DOTR-recommended ART line along Salinas Drive would look like this. An actual and similar example is the ART in Guayaquil, Ecuador. An alternative design would be to put smaller support towers on both sidewalks. There will be doubts whether ART can be installed in narrow roads like Salinas Drive. There is an actual installation in Ecatepec, Mexico, that has an ART line along an even narrower road. The roads are too narrow to be able to put the ART alignment along the middle of the road, so the ART alignment is made parallel to the road. Further explanation on the ability of the ART to travel along or beside narrow roads will be elaborated in other chapters. Renewed ART Campaign A Metro Cebu team started to promote ART in 2016. It was interrupted during the COVID-19 pandemic. The Cebu team is currently making a renewed campaign to promote ART under the Marcos administration. An ART presentation was made during the Cebu Mobility Summit in September 2022. The first day ART presentation was made at Seda Hotel. Mayor Michael Rama of Cebu City fully supports ART. The second day presentation was made at the Activity Center at Ayala Mall. A miniature model of an ART was presented at the Doppelmayr booth. An ART presentation was made during the Philippine Institute of Civil Engineers Student Summit at CTU Cebu. 
The sad state of traffic and public transportation in Metro Cebu has been described as commuter hell in a recent January 2023 news article. In response, the Cebu Provincial Board approved a resolution requesting the assistance of DOTR in expanding the water transport system in Cebu. Currently, there are only two ferry routes with three stations in Metro Cebu. The efforts of the Provincial Board is another example of the political leadership trying to find solutions to the traffic and commuter problem in Metro Cebu. If the other political leaders in Cebu believe in ART as a possible solution to the traffic and commuter problem in Metro Cebu, this can be expressed through the Regional Development Council. It can be done in the same manner during the Duterte administration. The recommendations of the council will go to the national government. Aside from government support, public support is crucial as well. YouTube videos about ART are expected to increase public support on the use of ART to solve the traffic and mass transportation problems in Philippine cities. Increased government and public support will attract potential investors to finance ART projects for Metro Cebu. PPP financing is preferred so that the government will not be burdened by the huge financing that may be required for the project. A recent successful PPP project is the completion of the $570 million CCLEX bridge in Cebu. In the unlikely scenario where there will be no PPP investor, the government can use official development assistance to finance the project. ODA has been used by the national government to finance the Cebu BRT and some of the LRT and rail-based commuter projects in Metro Manila. Doppelmayr has already established an office in Taytay Rizal since 2022. Doppelmayr has a sub-office in Cebu for its Cebu ART team. It is now easier to obtain information about ART in the Philippines.